Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about safe technology and how it works uh, for this uh, Apprentice S15E ready to fly aircraft. The S in the title means it's safe. What does safe mean? Safe means sensor assisted flight envelope. That's a fancy way to say that uh, it does, it limits what you can do with the aircraft. So I'm on page seven of the manual, okay? And um, I wanna make sure you understand the, all the modes and how SAFE works. Um, so first off, there's three modes. A beginner mode, uh, which limits the pitch and uh, roll of the aircraft. The intermediate mode, which Still limits it, but gives you a little bit more freedom for pitch and roll. So beginner mode, intermediate mode. And then the third one is experience mode, which has no limitations on the roll and the pitch. You can do what you like. Um, and then there's a fourth thing called panic, okay, or panic recovery, which works in all three modes. Doesn't matter what you're doing, a bit beginner, intermediate, or advanced, the panic mode works all the time if you hit the panic button. Panic button is this black button right up here on the on the receiver. We'll get to the receiver more later. Um, so if you hit the panic button and let go of the sticks, it'll relatively quickly recover back to wings level flight, no matter what you're, what you're doing. You're probably going to lose some altitude while you're doing it, so don't do it five feet above the ground. Uh, it will crash probably uh, if you're upside down. But it probably takes 20 to 50 feet to recover. So, you know, it, it, don't be too close to the ground, or it may not. But if you're up in the air and you lose orientation, you don't know which way the airplane's moving, let go of the sticks, hit the panic button, put it in wings level flight, and then start a turn to head back towards you. Okay, so um, how does the beginner mode work? Well, the important thing to remember about beginner mode is that when you move the stick, say to the right, to turn to the right, it's, you can move the stick all the way over, it's still going to stop at 30 degrees. Okay. And the other important thing is, which is not usual for airplanes, is when you move the stick back to center, in a normal airplane, if you're at 30 degrees of bank, like that, it's going to stay there until you roll out. But in the beginner mode, it's going to self-level the wings. So it's going to always keep the wings level as long as you don't move the stick left or right. That's nice as a beginner, but it gets frustrating as, a, as you advance. So um, beginner mode is, a, if you're going to teach yourself, beginner mode is a way to start. Uh, in intermediate mode, when you roll the aircraft to the right uh, and, let, and put the stick back to neutral, don't just let go of the stick. Don't, you know, don't do that. Move the stick and then put it right, put it back to the center, and the aircraft will stay there in that uh, bank angle um, until the wind moves it around or whatever. Um, and you can begin to turn. You, you turn by pulling back on the stick. More on that later. So intermediate mode, you have to keep the wings level, which is good practice. Um, if the winds move you a little bit and you overshot a turn, you got to turn back and you're constantly adjusting your ground track for what you want. And intermediate mode uh, forces you to level the wings, which is a good thing. In an in experience mode, you have no uh, limits to what you can do. Now, um, when I fly this airplane, I might be teaching a student. And when I'm teaching a student, um, and I'm flying it, I'm going to be in intermediate mode to, to demonstrate to them how to keep the wings level and, and uh, how to adjust your course corrections and lots of things like that. So um, I'm only going to use experience mode if I want to go up and do a loop or do some tricks with it or whatever. Um, 60 degrees of bank is more than enough to turn this aircraft, aircraft quickly. Okay. So in addition to safe technology, uh, by the way, safe tech, the safe technology 
doesn't activate until you move the throttle more than 25 percent. Okay, that says that uh, on the top of uh, page eight, activating safe technology. Um, so the other technology in this aircraft is a gyro, a three-axis gyro, to keep the aircraft stable. Uh, it's called an AS3X technology. And it's a three-axis gyro. If the winds buff it a little bit, it'll quickly put it back. Now, if it buffs it a lot, it's not going to roll at wings level for you. Okay, but it's going to it's going to quickly react quicker than you can to um, uh, turbulence or wind conditions, and that's good. Uh, it's on all the time. You can't change it. At least not with this radio. With other radios and other technologies of AS3, you can change the how it behaves. But for this one, it's on. It's on all the time. Just accept that your aircraft might might do something quick on you uh, that you didn't actually command it to do. As you become experienced, and you don't like the say for the AS3X technology, the thing to do is replace the receiver. I never recommend removing the receiver because it's a good receiver and you might want to go back to the safe technology. So don't remove it, but you can put a second receiver in there and just unwire the, the uh, current receiver in there. So um, the last thing that you have to remember is when these are bound together, which was done at the factory, there's something called fail-safe. Okay? And fail-safe means that when they bound the receiver to the radio to the transmitter in the airplane the sticks were neutral and the throttle was idle and what the fail safe is if if forever if for any reason the transmitter and the receiver quit talking to one another the airplane goes into fail safe and it will spiral into the ground until the radio comes back on now, it's not going to be a gentle spiral. It's going to be a rather um, steep spiral, but it prevents the aircraft from flying away. And you, at least you'll get your aircraft back, maybe with a few bumps and bruises on it. So that that is a important part of every Spectrum uh, receiver, is that there is a fail-safe. Um, that the, if, for whatever reason, communication is lost, uh, which probably never happens. The only reason I know of it ever happened is I've had students turn the radio off by mistake. So um, that's the uh, safe technology along with fail safe and the uh, AS3X three axis gyro. Um, so if you, um, uh, if you understand these aspects, you'll have a better flying experience and know what to expect, whichever mode you're in. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.